Invitation to the Great Banquet Story told by Jesus Welcome back, children, to another important story told by Jesus. Many years ago, in a certain town, there was a rich man. He had made a lot of money and wanted to celebrate with his friends. He decided he would prepare a great feast and invite many guests. He sent invitations to all his wealthy friends and they all promised to come. When the day arrived for the banquet, the rich man hired many servants to cook a big meal. They made plenty of delicious dishes. Other servants busied themselves decorating his home beautifully. There was a lot of hustle and bustle. The master was looking forward to meeting all his friends and having a lot of fun. What's happening here, children? Great answer. A great banquet is set to start. When it was time, he said to his servants, Go and welcome all my friends. Tell them that we have made all the preparations. Ask them to come over and celebrate with me. A lot of good food has been made and my home is now ready for the grand party. The servants went in all four directions. They found those rich friends and told them what the master had bid them to. But all of those friends began to make excuses. The first said, Sir, I have just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me, I cannot come. Children, do you think that is a good excuse? Of course not. He could always go and see the field after attending the feast. The master had spent a lot of effort and money getting the party ready. Another man who was invited said, I have just bought ten oxen. I'm on my way to see them. Please excuse me, I cannot come. Is this a good reason to stay away from the feast, children? Not at all. Why? He can check them out the next day. The oxen are his and he can check them any time later. Yet another said, I just got married, so I cannot come. What's the excuse? Just got married? He can certainly take his bride along and enjoy the party. Don't you think so, children? Absolutely. Now the servants came back home very disappointed and reported this to his master. All your friends are busy in other matters, master and they are not coming to the party. Then the host of the banquet was very unhappy. He had decorated the place for the party. He had prepared a lot of food, but the invitees did care to come to the banquet, even though he had invited them all a long time ago. They all had 
just one response. I cannot come. So he decided, that's okay. I will celebrate anyway. I have got all this food ready. I will invite whoever will come and enjoy the party. He sends his servants into town. He says to them, go quickly into the streets of the town. Look for anyone who is hungry, anyone in need, and bring them along. They may be poor, crippled, blind, or lame. Invite them and bring them in for the banquet. We will share the food with anyone who wants to come and enjoy it with us. Children, the invitation is extended to all those who want to join in the party. The servants go out into the town and invite the people on the streets. They tell them one by one that their master had prepared a great feast and that they should come and enjoy it. They were also happy to hear of the invitation to the feast. They did not give any excuses. They didn't complain. I don't have proper clothes. I don't have clean shoes. I haven't had my cool hair cut. How can I come? Instead, they were all so thrilled and excited at the invitation for a grand party. They all arrived, but there's a little problem. Let's listen to what the servant goes and tells his master. Sir, what you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Yes, this master has prepared a great big party. All are welcome, the rich, the poor, the famous, the rejected, the loved and the unloved. The master sends the servants again and tells them, go and find some more who would like to come and enjoy the party. He extends his invitation to so many who didn't know of this party. The master tells his servants, go out to all the roads and all the little lanes and bring more people in so that my house will be full. The master wants his house to be full. The house can fit in many, many people. Children, Jesus has prepared a feast for us and he invites everyone to come and enjoy. Everyone who believes in him and comes to him will have a time of great joy and happiness. It is free and the party will go on forever. The price Jesus paid was his own life. He died for our sins to forgive us and give us eternal life. Eternal life is like a party that will never end. All you have to do is to accept the invitation and walk in. Jesus added, not one of those who refused to come earlier 
will get a taste of his great banquet. They did not care to come. God has given us a choice, children, an invitation to attend the banquet. Some people who are invited to the party will refuse to attend. God does not force it on them. If they choose not to come, they are the losers. Anyone who believes in Jesus can come along. Would you choose to attend the banquet, children? Let's pray, children. Heavenly Father, thank you for the invitation for the grand party in heaven for those who believe in you. You are the only way, the truth, and the life. I want to attend your party for which you paid with your own life. I want to be with you forever and enjoy all that you have prepared. I love you, Lord Jesus, and I want to follow you with all my heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a lovely day, children. Bye.